so it's like 4 20 and um, you, you probably know we had a huge storm here in my city yesterday and actually people died yesterday there was a twister a lot of roofs roofs were taken off with the wind the trees were all over so yeah it's gonna be scary to go outside today so guys i know it's dark and you won't be able to see a lot but everything is in the breeze so yesterday it was so horrible that even a tree in our courtyard broke with a root and the whole city is devastated this part of the town i don't know came out the best i guess but the other part where i'm going is supposed to be destroyed and i can see there a lot of trees but yesterday after the storm there were so many there were 700 cases of firefighters have to coming and helping people because they were trapped in their cars under the trees and the city center is destroyed one of the oldest parks that we had is devastated by twister so you see i'm not sure if you can see but this is all full of trees oh my god it's a good thing it's a night time because this is just like like a graveyard look at this and they and have in mind they removed like stuff already and it's still totally destroyed so yeah it was horrible yesterday and we had a flood on our balcony and it was just like a horror movie and you know we never get it here in our city any type of storm like those and the short movies i took before and after they're nothing compared to what was in between and what was in the city a lot of cars got smashed and as i said i think like 10 percent of the buildings in our city lost their, lost their roof this is all full of pieces of trees that are removed from the pavement right now it almost looks like bushes right now and it's just scary look poor tree this is this is horrifying i know it's not even close to tornado but it is the closest we get so yeah look branches huge trees that were pulled with their roots out we have the oldest trees oldest trees pulled with a tree with, with a roots i'm sorry just amazed by sheer uh like look at that tree it's lost it's the whole thing fell i know you can't really see but i'm just looking in amazement oh my god there's a whole tree down here oh the branch is off and a lot of houses lost there look at this this pile here it's all branches and trees and these are all maple trees look at this half of the tree is brought down it's amazing i mean it's amazing to me that the wind was so strong then it took the trees down i mean how it wouldn't take the roofs off right it's horrifying But I'm off to the bus and see what's what later. But 
this is just all full of poor dead trees. <sighs> oh, there were, oh my God, the whole tree is down. See, the poor car underneath, I guess. There was, there were cars underneath here. This is horrifying. It's kind of scary. To see all this destruction. But it is Mother Nature just telling us you are the vermin on this planet. Or it's just a normal thing that is supposed to happen during the Hot summer days and summer rains, I guess. So, yeah. Let's wait for a bus and then we'll see what's what. Guys, I'm just sitting on the bus station waiting and uh, I, I know I can't, you know, you from US, you know what I'm talking about, the storms and stuff. Most people will not know how horrifying this was because you know, we all thought it's just gonna be a summer storm, but it turned out it, it's like, you know, on our mountain, <clears throat> all our mountain homes are uh, like destroyed, especially the, you know, the relaxation ones. I'm not sure how you call them, mountain lodges. Yeah, they all have, they all lost their roof and and the trees fell on them and stuff. It's creepy. So I'm out of the bus, I'm going to the tram and the tragedies continue with the broken trees and uh, on our way to the bus I saw every single tree was broken so it's a good thing that some left some are left and in our courtyard, in our building only one tree broke so that's a miracle because we have a forest there and I guess we're protected by the building all around but this is just like I mean it, it's been cleaned that's the thing and it still looks destroyed and we had rain all through the whole night but it was just rain no wind and those gashes of wind yesterday I don't know what they were but they were like twister like and while I was recording the shorts you know when the storm started a little leave went to my face and hurt my eye and I still have blurry vision <laughs> hey hey I look horrible and let's see how much damage is here? Well, it's all full of trees. Oh my God. That is just horrible. I know you can't see, but it's like devastation on next level. Okay, they were cutting the, they were cutting the, I see the branches, I guess that were on the stuff. Yep. So guys waiting for the tram. And looking around, everything is kind of destroyed around, but yeah, it's just horrible. So it looks like I can't go that way, because everything is full of trees that have fallen. So I have to go this way. So this part of the town across the bridge took the worst... Uh, well, I think every, everywhere was the same. We'll see what's up with the river, if it's high. So there was a ton of damage made. All the trees. And... I don't know, it just looks like Armageddon to me. Because in my almost 40 years of life, I've never been through something like this. Ever. So, it's strange see that but well, let's see what's going on on the bridge so it is 5 15 as usual 
and I'm on the bridge and yeah later I have to go to Mark studio to see what if anything happened to that building I don't know I guess it's just like a disaster all the time but I see the river did not overflow so that's good and I see oh some of the trees broken over there as well across and some of the trees here but this doesn't look too bad even if the how do you say the the sky looks horrible look at the debris debris floating the trees the branches oh, look it's a whole tree here so if that doesn't look scary I don't know what does <sighs> but yeah it was creepy scary I don't know what else to talk about today <sighs> yesterday I was supposed to be to my psychiatrist I couldn't go because I had my back pain so as you know I went to my doctor to get my shot for the pain hurts a little bit today as well but never mind and yeah we'll see what's what but it does look scary yes and I think a lot of things fell there oh my god there's a tree on that beautiful house yes chestnut tree broke and it fell to, fell on the house roof so I guess that house will have to be redone or something I'm not sure but it's not fair because that was one of my favorite uh, places to look at oh my god there's a lot of trees I think yeah there's a pine tree fall fallen up behind the house it's just awful so the little house went to hell yes <laughs> that's horrible see this tree the, this part all of that fell on the house so yeah not good not good at all look at it oh my god this is like destruction oh my god look at it destruction is amazing look there's no more house it's amazing what a little bit of wind can do there were roses here oh my god look at this you can't even see inside it's all just a tree into the courtyard and this went away and oh my god the tree fell on this part of the house as well and the trees are broken here as well look at this look all the trees broke I'm just for, sorry for the house because the earthquake didn't break her and now the trees and the storm destroyed her but I guess it's mother nature and there oh my god that tree fell on a hoarder's house okay warnings warnings the nature is warning us there's a lot of trees fell out there as well I guess mother nature is warning us that we have to oh my god we have to stop destroying our planet look at this the whole fences are moved look at this that's amazing the power of the wind the power of the wind is 
forced to reckon with, I guess. But I have to find cat grass, so yeah. So I did take some cat grass and now we're coming up to another part to see what happened here with the storm. It's like a little trip with me to see the destruction of our little city and yeah oh my god i can i can i can see the trees missing okay this oh the tree fell there i know that there, there was a big tree there that fell but So guys, I know you in America know what a tornado feels like and this is probably nothing to that but still the destruction is amazing because it is, you know, a huge city and I don't know, it's just weird. But, It is nature. Nature takes its tell on people. And um, oh, the tree fell there. I guess it was horrible here as well. Because what I was reading yesterday, looking at videos, it was just destruction. It was pure hell. So, the videos that I took are nothing compared to this. Nothing. You know, the small videos. Because what happened in between and the storm lasted 40 minutes. So, it was 40 minutes of pure destruction, I guess. But guys, that's life. That's what happens. Oh, there's a part of the store that's destroyed. It's, it's nature. Nature is just taking, you know, everything. If the nature takes everything in her own hands, I think we would be destroyed in a second. I mean, humankind. And maybe we should be, I don't know. It's a bleak perspective, but it's better to be destroyed by nature than by atom bomb, right? Right. But anyway, I'm coming to my street, so we'll see what's what, but I think everything is fine there. I know there's a big tree that was pulled here as well somewhere. Not sure where. But, uh, I think here everything looks the same, so. That is a good thing, I guess. Yeah. Not broken, tr no broken trees here. So this part took lesser blow than my part, <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there is two people died yesterday. The trees fell on them and the crane with a human inside fell from, I don't know, from a huge building because it was the man was there, they were building the building and it fell like from 10 stories building the crane just, you know, turned and it actually, the man actually survived inside because the little thing that holds a person inside is really well constructed so that's a plus plus. and here we are and everything is okay here, nothing is broken
no trees were pulled. So, I guess that's good. Yes. So, thank you for watching. Love you. Subscribe, share, and yeah. Keep me in your thoughts, guys. Bye-bye.